Alright, so a while back someone suggested to me that I should look up an individual known as and click on a video, any of his fucking videos, and um, you're going to see some craziness. Now, when I first heard that person's name, the first thing that popped into my head was where the hell have I heard it from? Because it rung a bell. And he's a flat earther. That's where I know him from. I'm subscribed to a channel known as Cyman Dan, where uh, Cyman Dan constantly battles flat earthers. Okay, those people are fucking nuts. They believe we live on a flat earth. We do not live on a globe. Space is not real. Gravity does not exist. These people are balls to the wall fucking crazy. Okay, NASA's a lie. It's all in on it. All the photos from NASA, everything that you've seen from space, that's, that's all bullshit. You know, there, there's no space station. There's no satellites. There's no, there's no stars. It's, it's all bullshit. I told myself that I would never do a fucking flat Earth video. Okay, and this will be the only time that I'm going to do it. Okay, but that person suggested to me to check out Owen Williams. It's just, I can't handle these fucking people. Okay, they, I mean, when you sit there and you try to prove that there is a globe, okay, they immediately scream indoctrination. Okay, all the science, all the math, everything you've learned in, in school about the world is all lies. Okay, I mean, but they have a double standard to where they will use math and science. But when you use math and science to debunk their shit, that's when they start screaming uh, indoctrination. Okay, you have been indoctrinated since birth to believe that 2 plus 2 is 4, when in reality 2 plus 2 is 70 fucking 5. Okay, they scream indoctrination every time you try to bring them any actual fucking physical fucking proof, whether it be scientifical or mathematical. You know, that's when they start screaming, you know, it, that's when they start screaming indoctrination. Okay, there's not, I mean, short of you taking one of these flat earthers, shoving his ass in a fucking rocket, launching him into space, opening up the fucking airlock and hurling his ass out to see the earth as he chokes to death in a vacuum, because the vacuum is space, that's not real either. That's a lie. But the space is not, okay, short of you throwing his ass out of a fucking airlock, and letting him choke to death in the coldness, blackness of space while he looks at the Earth. That, that's the only way you're going to convince a flat earther. Uh, otherwise, there's, no, there's nothing you can say or nothing you can show them that will make them see, you know, reality. I mean, 2,000 years of math, of math and science, gone. Okay, you've been indoctrinated. <laughs> it's the only time I'm doing one of these flat earther videos, okay? Because that person said, look up, look him up, do one of his videos. I'm getting around to it now. It's been late. I'm a little late, but we, we're here. Oh, my God. God help me. Like, right now, people are still demonizing me because of uh, my belief that the Earth is not a spinning ball and that it's a plane. Well, a lot of quote-unquote Christians are saying, um, oh, that I'm some sort of um, operative out of Israel to discredit. The Bible says the Earth is, is a, a plane. It's not a spinning ball. That being said, so so when Christians say that I'm I'm trying to discredit Christianity, when you there's several parts of the Bible that refer to the no the fucking the, what he's talking about is where the Earth is says that it is fixed. Okay, it doesn't say that it's fixed in place and it doesn't spin. Okay, this is where the fucking insanity starts. Okay, it doesn't nowhere in the fucking Bible does it actually say that the Earth is fucking flat. Okay, it says that, it's, that it is it is fucking fixed. Okay, but that does not mean that the fucking Earth isn't spinning corners of the earth or to rise up and look out at all the nations or god above waters above the firmament uh, it, it's endless but someone recently uh in a, in a comment thread said that um i'm crazy because it goes against all observable reality okay they don't know what the word observable means because observable is what you can see hear touch smell all like all your senses our observable reality is not spinning at a thousand miles an hour i'm here in peace our observable reality shows there's no curve of the earth. Zero construction projects that are long, like no bridges. Um. Okay. There have been people that have um, taken fucking high altitude air balloons and attached a fucking camera and set that shit up to prove that there is a curve. And they sit in there screaming, it's a wide angle lens, wide angle lens. You know, you cheating. There's nothing you can, there's nothing you can show these people, you know, short of throwing them out of a fucking airlock from, you know, from orbit. To get them to understand that uh, this is this, these people make me crazy okay have any factoring whatsoever of eight inches per mile square there's some bridges that are i mean you can't see you can't see fucking oxygen but yet you're fucking breathing that shit. 
you know, and, and yeah, this is going to be a pause heavy episode. Okay. This is going to be a pause heavy ranting. I'm sorry. I, I will try not to, but this shit makes me crazy. 30 miles long. How much did they factor? Hell, I can only watch, you know, uh, I, fuck it. In the curve, zip. All airplanes, all their maps, all their tools function as if it is a flat plane. The only evidence they have that it's a spinning ball is because of experts and just uh, math no one can understand and something called the Coriolis effect. Yeah, you see that? You, you can't understand it, okay? You, you need to wake up, sheeple. It's, it's math you can't understand. Which means snipers have to factor in the spin of the earth. If you ever talk to a sniper or do any sniper shooting yourself, you realize that's also a lie. So our entire observable reality, every thought experiment we have, like for example, a lighthouse. How would a lighthouse shine light 40 miles away with eight inches per mile squared? It would be completely out of view on a ball, stuff like that. And then people say, well, the light curves and they can't explain why it curves. So then you keep thinking, well, how does an atmosphere exist next to a uh, deep space, which allegedly is a vacuum? It can't. So stuff like that when someone says that goes against all observable reality you're using the opposite of the word observable and i don't talk about flat earth that much because i know it it rattles too many people's cages you can start with the big bang being absurd something doesn't come from nothing nothing comes from nothing it's so absurd that now that you're seeing your your cities being looted and burned because of black floyd and people are wearing uh ball gags and masks because of a, a virus that's killed no one anyone ever knows. Maybe yeah, COVID-19 hasn't killed anybody, okay? Owen says so. Maybe it's time to start thinking about what history actually was. And then you look at the t at Titanic, you look at World War One. do you think it was actually started because people got so angry about the Archduke Ferdinand in Serbia? No. Do you think that millions and millions and millions of people gave up their, their sons to be murdered and the sum for Don places so horrifying. Now, see, the whole thing with Archduke Ferdinand was that it caused a fucking domino effect, okay? Yeah, the guy was a minor figure in history, but it caused the domino effect that led to the fucking First World War. I can't handle these fucking people, man, because, you know, it's like, it's like dragging a horse to a fucking picture of water, you know, that's about to die from fucking thirst, and you can't make it drink. It's literally hell on earth because one minor aristocrat uh, was killed by Prince Seep, the Black Hand in the Balkans. Do you believe that? Of course, of course not. Okay, so then you get into the nuclear bomb. The nuclear bomb- Oh, by the way, he also believes that the sun is heaven and that the moon is uh, another dimension. Yeah. Why would anyone lie about the nuclear bomb? Global control, even the word global, but I don't mind using that word because that's how they see the world. Global control, um, it's like when two men are facing off each other and they both say that they have a gun underneath the table. It doesn't matter if they have a gun or not. Nuclear physicists that are under the radar that don't want to be named will tell you that it's, it's physically impossible to have that type of reaction. You can show that Nagasaki, Hiroshima were not nuclear explosions. That was reported as fire bombings, very big bombs, very, very big bombs. There was no fallout, no radiation. Then, then why after the fucking Second World War was there a fucking crazy spike and birth mutations of people getting cancer. This is this this is why these people drive me fucking crazy. Okay, this is also why the person that suggested this vid the video for me to watch this crazy dude is because he wanted to see me react. Okay, these fucking people drive me crazy. And of course, this is you know, I, you know the person's like, well, I'd love to see your reaction. This is my reaction. These people make me crazy. Chernobyl is a thriving ecology there. The nature has not only never been affected, there is no radiation. Some families stayed, nothing happened. It's all a lie. It's an endless lie. Now, life is not an endless lie. Life is beautiful. You are, the good news is you are not made by a big bang on a spinning ball in the emptiness of deep space. You are made by God in love on a flat, stable plane that is awesome. And as you see the, the clouds slowly pass by, not at a thousand miles an hour, we, we didn't drive a dune buggy on the moon. You realize that the world is much, much better than you can possibly imagine. And that you have to re-empower yourself in your life by speaking and thinking truth, by getting to know your neighbors, by trying to get your sin under control, and that's it. And so from this, this point, and, and, the, and the truth community can be very jarring, it can be very aggressive, it can be fear-mongering, just like CNN, you know, just like all of that. 
And my advice to you is don't go down too many rabbit. Like the best thing to do is to go down the rabbit hole and then come back up and say, wow, that was crazy down there. Man, I'm so glad that this is here. Don't leave. This guy went down the fucking crazy hole and he never came back. You fucking, fucking, I went down the rabbit hole. I came out. No, you didn't, bitch. No, you didn't. Live in the rabbit hole. Go down, look around, come back up. Admitting that the world isn't a spinning ball is very traumatic for me. I went through a very hard time. I was even drinking at the time. It was very intense. Okay, observable reality says this is not spinning. Observable reality says every single thought you can come up with or test will tell you it isn't spinning. Every single thing. Lighthouses, curvature tests, everything. The nature of an ellipse, how it changes speed, everything. The way the moon looks. And guess what? It doesn't contradict Christianity at all to say what I'm saying. In fact, the Bible says the moon is a lesser light. It does not say it's a spinning ball in an infinite darkness. It says God above. On a sphere, there is no above or below. It's it's relative. That's the theory of relativity. You go in- Yeah, the fucking stars, man. The fucking stars be fake. You know, you're looking at, you're looking at fakery. God. To looking at Einstein, you realize who he really was. He was an actor on the world stage to bring in relativity because scientists were actually proving that this was not a spinning ball, that this was a flat plane. The something morally experiment right before Einstein proved it without question. And, you, and the more you're in this world of observable reality, what have you experienced? You know, is your thoughts on the Holocaust from Steven Spielberg movies? Be honest with yourself. Were you, did you experience it? Is there real evidence? Yes! Yes, you fucking idiot! Yes! There is plenty of fucking evidence that the Holocaust fucking happened! There is plenty of fucking footage! You know, there are fucking, fucking dead bodies piled high to the fucking sky! Yeah! There, there are there's fucking real evidence that it happened! God! You know, was, is your experience with NASA have to do with your childhood? Is, is your experience with dinosaurs have to do with Steven Spielberg movies? Ask yourself these things. Mickelson Morley. Mickelson Morley, right before Einstein, proved beyond a shadow of a scientific doubt that there is no movement on this plane. Everything you can think of. How does a, how does a, um, a bridge factor in the curve? They don't. Look at the blueprints. Think about how does a plane factor in the curve? It doesn't. All the dials and, and instruments are all based on a flat, non-moving plane. All of it. How does a pressurized atmosphere exist next to uh, infinite vacuum? It can't. How did, and then the more- Yeah, okay, yeah, I know. You know, he, he, he sits there and subscribes to this fucking dumbass theory that we are living inside a dome and, and the only thing that is keeping your fucking ass here on the ground isn't gravity, okay? It's gas pressure. It's not gravity because the, the, we aren't spinning around. No, 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 no. We are fixed, we are still, we ain't moving around, blah, 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 blah. And it's gas pressure holding you down. It ain't fucking gravity. The more you look into this, the more you're like, oh, what's the only evidence that we have that this is a spinning ball? Shame, NASA, and the Coriolis effect. That's it. Yeah, 2,000 years, 2,000 years of fucking math and fucking science. None of that shit exists for these people. It doesn't exist. And people just saying, how dare you? You're stupid, you're stupid. People call me an Israeli shill trying to discredit the truth and Christian movement in America because I actually follow what the Bible says about the nature of the earth. At no point in the Bible does it reference a spinning ball. Every single part of it, it couldn't exist unless there was God above and we are below. At no point in the fucking Bible does it say we live on a flat earth. Go read the fucking, no, go read it. Go read the fucking Bible. And nowhere in that fucking book does it say we live on a flat earth. It doesn't, it doesn't exist. When the devil brings up Jesus and shows him all the nations of the earth, can that happen on a ball? When there's waters above, can that happen on a ball? Where's above? Is Australia not above? Is there different above? The firmament, hard, fast barrier. That is necessary if there is waters above. All of it, guys. It does not contradict the Bible at all. To say I'm a shill trying to discredit Christianity when the moon is said a, is a lesser light, a luminary, not a ball that mysteriously spins at the exact same speed as the earth so that you only see one side with a shadow on it that no one can explain. The phases of the moon... It's been explained endlessly. 
But again, these people sit there and say, whenever you explain it, okay, whenever you go out and you fucking bring out science, actual factual fucking science, they scream indoctrination, they scream bullshit, they scream lie. The, you, the, these people make me crazy, okay? You sit there like, why are you screaming, media? Because these people make me crazy. This is why I told myself when I did my channel, I would never, ever do a flat earth video. Because these people make me crazy. And after this video is done, I will never do another one again. No one can explain why it does that based on it's been explained. Uh, mass media. It's been explained. This is what you'll run into in the truth movement. And and my what I suggest is you maintain your relationship with reality, what you see, what you hear, what you feel, what you smell, what you taste. Again, you can't see oxygen. You can't fucking see it. Does that mean it's not there? You fucking idiot. What do you think you're fucking bringing into your lungs at this fucking point? Huh? Where you're sitting here spewing up all this fucking nonsense. But what, what, what do you think you're inhaling right now? Argon? And the more you uncover, the more you know you are actually way more special than you could have possibly imagined. You are not a mistake, an astrological mistake after nothing came from something or something came from nothing, from a little tiny bang. That, that the eyeball did not, did not miraculously evolve based on sexual selection. It's not remotely- Yeah, yeah, evolution's bullshit, people. It's not real. Possible. That wings sprouted out of the backs of, of back- The Bible and fucking evolution have the ability to coexist, okay? There is fucking connections in there. Bacteria. It, you can't observe evolution. Never been done. Even with bacteria, with a life expectancy of a half a second, you can see a mil you can see like a million uh, generations. Okay, even the Catholic Church doesn't fucking deny that shit. And it will never become something. Go ask them. That it wasn't when it was born. Never once can't be observed. You can't observe evolution. You can't observe the whole concept of um, mutation becoming something. It's never been observed. Can't be tested. Nada. Same with spinning ball, same with Big Bang, same with all of it. And you will be called names. You will be called racist because you don't want to- No, you're not a racist. You're just fucking dumb. Okay, you're just fucking dumb, delusional, blind, deaf. Okay, there have been people that have been more than fucking patient with you, including Simon Dan and so many other people that have been more than willing to hold your hand to take you through it like you in kindergarten, and they have explained it to him endlessly. Every fucking question that this dude has asked has been explained to him. But when they explain that shit, and they use in math that, that, you know, he just can't be bothered to learn, it's fake. It's fucking fake. All that crazy math that nobody can understand, don't you know? You just can't understand it, okay? You just too stupid. There have been so many people that have attempted to explain to, the, to these fucking people over and over and over and have, and it doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter how hard you fucking try to push that shit. It's all indoctrination. That's what they immediately run to the moment you fucking pull out all the fucking proof that all that shit actually exists. They immediately scream, indoctrination. You have been brought up to believe that 2 plus 2 is 4, when in reality it is 75. But you have been lied to and you have been told that 2 plus 2 equals 4. This is how flat earthers think. Degrade the black man and say, it's not your fault you raped and murdered somebody, it's because of your skin. That's how you put someone in a little tiny box for the rest of their life. And when you see the truth, you will see it. And that's the two roads. You either accept it and accept what comes with it, and then you are free. You are free to be you, to worship, to crush, to be fruitful and multiply, or you will become a meat puppet, lying on your tummy, waiting for a random stranger to approve of you so that you can feel any joy in your life. Any. Oh my God. It's over. It's over. Thank you. This is why I will never do another Flat Earther video. This is why I will never, ever do 
another Flat Earth video on my channel. This is the only Flat Earth video you will ever see on this channel. Do you understand me? I will never, ever, 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 ever do another Flat Earth video on my channel. Because these people make me fucking crazy. And you've seen what my crazy looks like now. Because some people fucking bring that shit out of me. I will never do another Flat Earth video. And enjoy, enjoy your once in the lifetime experience of Black Media doing a Flat Earth video on his channel. Because this is the only one it's going to be. I will see you people tomorrow.